Take one. Good day, folks. I'm Mick from Iron Fem. <laughs> <laughs> Cut. <laughs> G'day folks, I'm Mick Van Sale from Ironman 4x4. How long should shock absorbers last? The answer to that question is exactly the same as the question, how long is a piece of string? In all seriousness though folks, the life of a shock absorber depends on how hard the shock absorber worked throughout its life. A shock absorber that's fitted to a vehicle that travels on a smooth highway up and down to work every day is arguably going to last the lifetime of that vehicle. However, shock absorbers fitted to a farm bucky that is racing across a ploughed field with a bull on the back on the way to the cows every day is not going to last that long. So when does a shock absorber actually work hard? Remember folks that the function of the shock absorber is to dampen the movement of the spring. The spring has been given energy by the road surface and this energy is then absorbed by the shock absorber and converted to heat in the oil of the shock absorber. This heat is then dissipated through the canister of the shock absorber into the atmosphere as you're driving along. So actually driving down a corrugated road at a speed of 70 or 80 k's an hour, your shock absorber is working pretty hard but it's not working the hardest it can. You have some airflow and it's being cooled down and if the shock absorber is able to dissipate that heat successfully, it's working properly. But when you're doing serious off-roading at very low speeds and there's a lot of piston and shock absorber movement, there will be a lot of heat buildup in the shock absorber with very insufficient cooling over the shock and that's when shock absorbers work at their very hardest. You'll feel this when the shock absorbers fade and there's a lot more movement in the body of your vehicle. And then you'll know it's time to pull over, make a cup of tea and a cucumber sandwich and let everything just chill out for a while. Of course, the other thing you could do is to go for a different type of shock absorber technology. So typically shock absorbers standard on a vehicle are gas shock absorbers and a lot of replacement shock absorbers are also gas shock absorbers. But a foam cell shock absorber, like the foam cell shock sold by Ironman 4x4, feature a different technology. And the main advantage here is that you have way more oil capacity, sometimes two to three times as much oil as a gas shock absorber. And the second advantage is that the entire canister of the shock absorber dissipates the heat, as opposed to a nitro gas shock, where only the bottom two thirds is dissipating the heat. So they'll run cooler for longer. So fitting a better technology shock absorber will make it much harder to overwork them and they will last a lot longer. And that folks is how long a piece of string is. <laughs>